Recent studies have found that some cells of the brain, including neurons, astrocytes, and oligodendrocytes, can transport pieces of the genetic code RNA from the nucleus out to their distal processes which may be several microns away, and then locally translate proteins from this code within the process itself. Yet whether microglia, immune cells that protect the brain from damage and disease, might be able to engage in this process remains poorly understood. Researchers at Washington University School of Medicine recently carried out a study exploring if microglial processes can support the local translation of protein. Their findings, published in Nature Neuroscience, suggest that microglia create new proteins within their peripheral processes, particularly at sites where they are ingesting, i.e., phagocytosing cells or other targets that are no longer needed in the body. When you think about how complex the shapes of brain cells are, you realize they have this fundamental problem when it comes to gene expression, Joseph D. Doherty, one of the researchers who carried out the study, told Medical Express. Think of a neuron with its hundreds of little processes and synapses. To strengthen a given synapse after activity, i.e., to help encode a new memory, the cell needs new proteins at just that synapse, but not everywhere else. Yet, the genes that code for these proteins pretty much reside in just one place that is far from the synapse, specifically in the nuclear DNA. When cells create new protein, this protein is delivered to target locations inside the cell via a sophisticated translational process. Firstly, DNA i.e., the material carrying genetic information, is transcribed to the nucleic acid RNA, which is then translated into protein. Over the last couple of decades, Researchers realize that neurons have the ability to localize where that RNA is translated by moving mRNA and the translational machinery, ribosomes, to the activated synapses, Doherty explained. It is sort of like shipping the plans in the factory to where you need a lot of new parts. While neurons are the most famous cells in the nervous system, if you look at other cells like astrocytes and microglia, they have the same challenge of a complex morphology with lots of processes that may need to act independently. Quote, Microglia are tiny and yet functionally refined immune cells that protect the brain and the body from infections, diseases and traumatic injuries. While many studies have investigated the functions and processes of these vital immune cells, their ability to locally translate protein within their processes has rarely been explored before. As the resident immune cells, microglia are both the gardeners and the watchdogs of the brain, with 5 to 10 little processes that are continuously moving and surveying the surrounding cells occasionally pruning excess synapses that are no longer needed and clearing any debris from injury or infection by a process called phagocytosis, i.e., surrounding and eating debris and unwanted cells, Doherty said. Our key question was does this phagocytosis, like strengthening a synapse in a neuron, also need new protein production? And if so, how might a process on one side of the cell turn on phagocytosis while the other processes are still in surveillance mode? 